yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay from Keeping It Real, your arbiter of gaming news and commentary, hitting you off with a studio production video where you know this is your channel, where all gamers' voices are heard. With your boy Jay always dropping the word, keeping them other gaming YouTubers like what you heard, and where you always know we always, always keep it all the way real. What's up everyone for checking out my studio production video today and you know what time it is the place where all gamers voices are heard and your boy Jay is dropping that word so like usual man I'm gonna go ahead and dig right in and um today man the topic of this video I wanted to ask the question um, um concerning Microsoft in I wanted to ask um, how Microsoft is making up for its lack of exclusives, man. Because um, I wanted to dig into that because I think that's been a big thing that I've been hearing um, a good amount of Xbox guys say. And, um, you know, even in saying to themselves, yeah, you know, we, we haven't really had as much as exclusives as I would personally like. And, yeah, that is one thing that is not so great about this year and i wanted to go ahead and dig into that um and i wanted to go ahead and talk about why it's so important to understand framing and how to think of something so i'm gonna give you an example we can look at it from a glass half empty point of view a pessimistic point of view and think you know well yeah they've had we we've had a you know not the greatest exclusive lineup this year you know we've had the cancel of scalebound and you know uh crackdown 3 didn't come out that was a big bummer and yeah it hasn't really been the best or we you could look at it from an optimistic point of view with glass half full and say well wait a minute um let me think what are we getting this year hmm could it possibly be that the most powerful console ever made along with the fact of it um basically uh being a it's it's committing on its promises and doing more than what we even thought it was going to be able to do or expecting it to really do and also bringing us full compatibility backwards compatibility as well as even being competition in some part with with the pc something we never expected it as well as being able to play all the best versions of games um so we're basically having all the games we're basically going to have all the best versions of every game from now and till the foreseeable future as long along with being a hundred percent backwards compatible to all the games that's ever been made on xbox um is that all that worth um a cancellation with scalebound and crackdown not coming out this year mm, i don't know about you but yeah i would rather have all of that and yeah you know you know and i would you know crackdown not coming out and uh this year and scalebound being canceled um yeah that, that's okay considering all the stuff that we are getting so i say that to say do you look at it as glass half full or glass half empty? And if you look at it at glass half full, then why do you let fanboys create your narrative? Why do you why do you succumb to how fanboys think? Because if you I believe if anyone thinks of it in that way, where it's glass half full, they're looking at what they are getting and the greatness that is being brought to them this year. That didn't have to. Microsoft didn't have a lot of people. Oh, well, Microsoft, they had to do something. Talk to Phil. You'll find out. No, not really. They're making over a billion dollars in services and sales. They didn't they necessarily didn't have to do anything. They could have just kept it to just the S and what they were doing and waited a little longer if they wanted to. They didn't have to they didn't even have to come out with this at all. They couldn't they didn't have to buy into this mid-gen, spend millions upon millions of dollars trying to create this monster that we're getting next month. You know, 
um, doing all the fan for service of having it have bear a special Scorpio edition, going through all of this, going through all the painstaking work it took to make it 100% backwards compatible. They're even making it backwards compatible to the OG Xbox. No, all of that is fanfare. They didn't have to do all of that. That's not that's not going to make them so much more money now that they're putting all that money and effort into it. It could pay off. It could not. It's a gamble. But the fact is, they didn't have to do all of that. They really didn't. So so anyone say they had to do that, you're full of crap. No, they didn't have to do that. They, they, they did a lot of the things because that's what they believe in. You talk to Phil, that's what he truly believes in. As a gamer. And as a leader of a um, a division that he wants to he wants to see, you know, gamers be excited and happy about playing video games and about their platform of choice. And that's what it's about. So you got to understand that you got to ask yourself, which one are you? If you look at it from half full, if you're an optimistic person. Why would you let a fanboy make you a pessimistic person, a glass half empty person, and look at it from the standpoint of, oh, well, they don't got a lot of games this year. Why would you? You know, because the fact is, think about this. With all the stuff that they are bringing this year, that just clears the way for all the games of next year. You think about this. I'm going to break it down how this works. You think about all the games that now are going to be there's games right now there there's talks right now about sunset overdrive that's going to be 4k that's going to get the the xbox x treatment you think about now when developers start seeing their older games that the x is enhancing they start seeing a bigger jump of interest into these games i'm talking about games that has already released you don't think that these developers are not going to be possibly looking into releasing extra DLC for these games? These games that now the X are bringing a bigger amount of interest into because the X are having these games shine in ways that they never shined before. Now there's a bigger demand, there's a bigger interest, and you don't think that's not going to spark new DLC? You don't think for the future games that are coming out that the X is now going to bring a higher demand of people now that wants to play those games longer and be more interested in those games. Because now those games are looking and playing in ways that they never played before. That's going to bring interest to games that are already out as well as future games. And 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 you don't think that that's something that um, to look to to say, well, no, I would that that's a big plus i would rather have that than just okay i missed out on just a couple of ips new ips or a couple of exclusives this year so okay i'm down in the dumps because of that you know and i yep i, I guess we don't have no you know we don't have as many exclusives if i i would like no think about it you're getting a whole new lease on so many games that you're now going to want to go back and play. And now developers seeing that interest is going to say, hey, maybe we should release some new DLC. Why this game is hot. So you got to understand that Microsoft right now is breathing new life into games in ways that we've never expected it to be. And even developers are not even expecting it to be. And they are now going to have all the best versions of games along with making um the x 100 percent backwards compatible that's something to be excited for that's something i i don't know about you but i'm okay with can canceling scalebound and not getting crackdown this year or having crackdown be a little delayed i'm okay with that know about you so you got to figure out which camp are you in and if you're in the camp that is a glass half full then own it and say no you know what you you can say that that's fine but i'm looking at what we are getting bruh and what we are getting is way more significant and than what we're not getting this year and that that has to be your framing you can't let these fools frame your framing you got to make up your own framing of how you see it and you got to be loyal to how you see it and what it is to you you can't take someone else framing and say oh well gee i guess you're right Sure, if that's not your true, true how you truly feel, if that's not 
what it truly is to you. Because I'm going to tell you, glass half full is how I see everything, bro. I always know that life is going to happen. Things are going to happen. But guess what? I ain't going to be about what happened. I'm going to be about what I'm going to do about it. If you live your life about what you can, you're going to do about it, you're always going to be free to make your own choices and live your life the way you want to live it and be happy. But if you make your life about what happens to me, you're always going to be a sad, pathetic little victim because everything you do is going to be about, oh, woe is me. What happened to me? And I don't know about y'all, but I'm about what I'm going to do about it. So the fact is, if, if you about that half full life, you need to represent that and say, hey, man, I'm going to look at what we do have, what what we do have and what we what we're going to have moving into the future. And I'm and that's OK for me to sacrifice two games for all those great things that we do have this year, because those games are going to be coming within the next year. It ain't like they're too far away. Um, how long have, you know, a lot of PlayStation guys, including myself that's that's looking forward to have been waiting for god of war since the since the the ps4's release how long were they waiting for chart uncharted how long are they going to be waiting for the last of us 2 you see what i'm saying long time so um i don't know about y'all but i think waiting just a little longer to get a whole slew of crazy stupid exclusives that's coming this next year it's going to be perfectly fine to, for me and in the meantime, I'm just going to be enjoying all the best versions of games on on every game that release. It, and all backwards compatible games. I don't know about y'all, but I'm OK with that. I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, and as well as any of the exclusives that release, I know they're going to be the very best on at the X. I don't know about y'all, but I'm OK with that. So, man, you got to look at where you are, what is important to you and where you're actually at. Don't let anyone else frame what you think and how you see it. Stand up for how you think and how you see it and roll with it. So, yeah, man, that's 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 the video I want to do on that, man, because I've been noticing a lot of cats, man, just succumbing to this. Oh, well, you know, I, yeah, I don't do. Yeah, X, Xbox ain't really big. They, they say all that without mentioning what the great things that are coming. You don't want to be in that spot. So, all right, yeah, man, that's my video on this today. Um, appreciate if you guys like, share, subscribe. You dig your boy content. Until the next time. This is Jay. I'm always keeping it real, and I'm gone. <laughs>